morning, all, or afternoon, or evening, whenever it is for you. Um, welcome to some trauma-sensitive yoga. And I encourage you to um, grab a chair, grab some blankets, grab some pillows, grab whatever's gonna make you feel comfortable. Grab a, <laughs> grab a cat, <laughs> um, whatever's gonna make you feel comfortable for today's moving. We're gonna do some gentle moving and some breathing just to kind of bring our week um, almost to a close. My Saturday, yeah, he's very violent today. <laughs> anyway, all right, so after you've found all of your stuff, maybe making yourself comfortable, whatever that looks like for you, maybe you wanna be sitting on your, um, on a blanket, Or if you have blocks, maybe even sitting on blocks. Again, if your hip flexors are super tight, then make some height for yourself. So that gravity can allow those legs to fall down towards the floor. And if this is a, an uncomfortable seated form, then sit however is most comfortable for you. So listening to your body today. That's what this is all about. Maybe making that connection today, the mind and body connection. And then maybe rocking it a little bit from side to side or front and back. And as you're doing this, maybe dropping your chin to your chest if that is available to you, if your neck is gonna let you go there today. And then maybe lifting this up and then maybe taking that over to one side. Good, and then the other side. Good, and then back to center. And when you're ready, again, maybe finding yourself a little bit taller, finding your space around you We'll do a little bit of torso twisting. We'll do some twisting just to release any, if there's any tension or any tightness in the rib cage, in the low back, up in the shoulders. And again, do what feels comfortable for you. If um, something feels wrong, then don't do it. Then relax, breathe, um, listen to your body. So, Let's go ahead and take our opposite hand. So I'm gonna take my left hand and I'm gonna place it onto my right thigh. Not onto the knee, but onto the thigh. And then I'm gonna maybe gently turn a little bit, maybe anchoring myself. And then taking that other hand and anchoring behind me. And then a gentle twist. And maybe inhaling here. And exhale. And inhale through the nose and exhale good one more time inhale and exhale good let's bring it back to center and then when you're ready taking it to the other side so taking that right hand to the left thigh gently anchoring and then taking our left hand back and finding some floor and anchoring there, maybe lifting a little taller and a gentle twist and inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. Good, and bringing that back to center. And when you're ready, Maybe bending at those knees. Maybe rocking them from side to side. If this is, feels a little unstable, you can take your feet wide and maybe rock this a little bit from side to side. You can rock it on your heels. But we're kind of just waking up our legs a little bit, adding in a little bit of movement. You can maybe steer those legs. That's kind of a nice feeling being in control of pulling and pushing side to side. Good, and I'm going to 
get off of the blanket because I need to move a little bit more. But we're going to take our legs out in front of us. Come on to on the side. Taking our legs out in front of us. And let's sit it up tall. Now, if your back is not going to let you do this, then feel free to lean up against the wall. Or if it feels better, again, you can stay seated on those blankets or you can put a blanket at the low back, a pillow maybe, or a bunch of pillows. Again, whatever is making this comfortable and safe for you to do. So we've got our legs out in front of us, a slight bend in our knees. And let's kind of sit up tall and let's kind of reach our arms up towards the sky as we inhale. And as we exhale, allow our arms to float down to the ground. And inhale, lift this up. And exhale, let the arms float. And inhale and lift. And exhale and float. And inhale and lift. And exhale and float. Good. I'm going to lean back. I'm going to take my hands back. If this is difficult for your wrists, again, you can lean back against the wall. So finding a space that's comfortable for you. And I'm going to take my feet wide. If this feels uncomfortable for you, then you can keep your feet together. I'm going to take them wide. And I'm going to gently drop maybe my knees from side to side. And this is kind of waking up my hips even more. We carry a lot of tension and stress in our hips. It's easy to remember that the low back and the upper back because they're always kind of reminding us. But we kind of don't really get reminded of our hips and our hip flexors and how much stress we hold in there until you do some sort of stretching like this and then you're like, wow, there's a lot. So recognizing that. And if you're not feeling anything at all, that's perfectly fine too. This is your time, listening to your body, getting back in touch with your body, making friends with your body again. So we've got that dropped from side to side. And maybe, if it's okay, if your body will let you, maybe dropping your knees to one side and kind of sitting up right here. And then, if you'd like, you can grab your blankets and that was Jericho being naughty. And maybe sitting up tall. And go ahead and grab those blankets and you can grab as many as you want and kind of lean into your blankets. I might want like one or two more here. You might want to have your blankets or your pillows all the way up so that you can lean into this and you can feel good stretch maybe in that low back and in that hip. And as we're leaning into this, let's inhale deep and exhale and inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale good and let's go ahead and switch sides <laughs> we'll take this to the other side taking your time grounding yourself getting that hip into place and then kind of scooching towards that pile of blankets or pillows and kind of leaning into that again. And one side may very well be different than the other. For me, this side is tighter. So I wish that my pile was taller. So again, if the same thing, or you might want to take away from your pile. But kind of leaning into that and let's inhale it here and exhale. And inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale. 
Good, let's release that. And you can place your blankets off to the side. And we're gonna come onto all fours. So if you need support for your knees, again, as always, feel free to put a blanket under those knees. If you need support for those wrists, you can use a blanket here. And you can always take breaks if it bothers your wrists to be on all fours. You can always sit back, shake that out. Again, listen to your body. Every day is different. So we're on our hands and knees. Our shoulders are over our wrists and our hips are over our knees. Let's do some cat and cow. We'll do a few rounds of this. So let's drop our belly to the floor and take our eyes to the sky as we inhale. And then let's round our spine, take our chin to chest as we exhale. And dropping the belly to the floor, eyes to the sky, inhale. And rounding the spine, chin to chest, exhale. And drop that belly, eyes to the sky, inhale. And round that, chin to chest, exhale. And again, dropping belly to the floor, eyes to the sky, inhale. And round that spine, chin to chest, exhale. Good. And taking it back into child's form, if it's available for you. Again, if you've got some, if you need to um, put a pillow or a blanket there to make it more comfortable for you to get into this form, then feel free to do that. Or you can have your glutes down there to your heels. Again, listen to your body. walk it up a little bit. We're going to go into heart melting. So we're going to take our hands wide. So our hands are wide, kind of to the wide, almost outside of your mat, if you've got a mat, but they're outside of your shoulders, definitely. So we're going to walk that out, and we're going to drop our heart to the floor and our chin forward. So this is now stretching our chest, our arms, our armpits, our back. You can take that forehead to the floor but that the glutes are in the air. And of course, if that doesn't feel like a safe form for you, then staying in child's form is fine. Otherwise you can go move it a little forward into that heart melting form and breathing it here and inhale and exhale and inhale. And exhale. Good. Let's walk our hands up. And all of that excess noise is you, you, that you're hearing is the cat. He's got the zoomies for some reason right now. That's Jericho. So he's our troublemaker. So coming up, um, let's go ahead and grab your blankets. We're going to put feet up on the chair if that's comfortable for you. I'm going to place one blanket pretty close to the chair and you can put a pillow or a blanket up on your chair. I'm going to take myself very close and bring legs up and then taking that down. Arms out to the side, palms up. Maybe lifting the lower back if it's comfortable lifting that up. Oh, stretching it a little bit. And then allowing maybe those knees to go over the hips and then kind of in front. So maybe your calves are on the edge of the chair so that your low back can kind of anchor into the floor. And then our arms out to our sides, our palms facing up, imagining that those arms weigh a lot. They're very heavy and they are sinking into the floor. Those arms, those hands, those fingers, all sinking down into the floor. And 
as that happens, maybe your low back, your mid back, your upper back, maybe that allows it to relax a little bit. Let's inhale it here. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Feel free to keep yourself here for as long as you'd like. I'm going to move on and stretch the lower back a little bit before we move into our final relaxation. So I'm gonna scooch back and I'm gonna take both of my knees and maybe dropping them over to one side. And as soon as I do that, all of a sudden I feel tension. So I want to recognize where I'm feeling that at, if this is happening to you, where I'm feeling it at and I'm listening to my lower body, to wherever this is going on, some a little bit in my mid body, my upper body. And I'm kind of working myself to where I can release that tension. And once I'm there, let's breathe into that. Inhale it deep. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. I'm going to take it to the other side. And again, recognizing on this side if there's any tightness, if all of a sudden something tightened up or if there was any tension, recognizing that, maybe making space there or finding what's comfortable. And once I'm there, let's inhale and exhale and inhale. And exhale. And then from here, moving that back over, pressing myself up, I'm going to come into a nice relaxation. So if that means moving the blanket even more, grabbing your other blanket, so usually I put the blanket over me, but today my hips are a little bit off. So I'm gonna place the blanket right there. And then taking myself onto my side. If this is comfortable for you, if this feels safe for you. If it does not, find the, find the form that feels the best for you. Find where you feel safest, where your body feels like it can actually relax and be safe and released. And once you're there, allow yourself this time to sink, sink and settle. Know that you have done amazing, that you are courageous and you are strong. It takes courage to take care of the self. It takes courage to recognize um, that you'd like to be stronger, that you'd like to be more aware. And you are courageous and you are strong. I'm going to let the music go for about another five minutes. But I want to thank you for joining me and have a blessed day and know that you are seen, that you are heard, and that you are important.